My name is John Solick. I'm an orthopedic sports medicine surgeon at Emerge Ortho. My practice focuses on acute and chronic injuries of the shoulder and knee, as well as other acute sports-related musculoskeletal injuries. So when we talk about ACL reconstruction with our patients, one of the common questions that we are asked is how to reconstruct the ACL. Because the ACL does not repair back to itself well, we have to use a tendon graft to create the new ligament. There are two main categories of tendon grafts that we can utilize. One is from the body or autograft. The second is from a cadaver or donor tendon, allograft. Uh, a lot of the newer research supports the idea that using tendon from the patient's own body or autograft has a much lower re-injury rate, especially in younger patients, but that advantage is conferred throughout most age groups. For that reason, in my practice, the majority of ACL reconstructions that are performed use tendon graft from the patient's own body. The two main options for achieving a graft from the patient's body are the patella tendon, which comes from the front of the knee, and the hamstring tendons, which come from the back of the knee. Both of those tendon grafts have advantages and disadvantages, and we try to individualize the graft choice for the patient based on their age, their activity level, uh, and their physical status. I see a wide variety of athletes from high school and college age through adulthood, but one of the most common things among my patients is that they all want to get back to a certain activity or lifestyle. My goal is to get them there.